another day in the office, another day with a uh, XV500. So I've done a lot, and I mean a lot, shed loads of thinking off camera and head scratching and a bit more head scratching on top of that and, uh, and some beer drinking. I mean like yesterday I think I spent a whole evening, like probably four hours here just sitting uh, looking at this bike and trying to figure out what I'm getting with it. I had I was brainstorming ideas and I had a uh, few different plans how to go ahead with the subframe assembly and just the whole thing how to mount it on the bike and all that and just when i thought i get it figured out um i have a child with a good friend of mine who who's luckily enough he's uh, a bit more uh, engineering minded than i am and he knows his stuff i mean he really knows his shit when it comes to uh, making things right and strong and um, as it should be so he offered me some advice and uh, after like a couple of hours of conversation we actually uh agreed on a few things and um that's what i'm going to go with with the subframe uh, i'm going to follow his suggestions simply because he knows a lot more about um well he's got more mechanical and engineering mind than, than i do uh and if uh somebody more clever than me uh advises on something i listen you know this is what uh, this is what i do um let me show you what I mean, what I was going for and what we uh, figured out. So maybe I'll be, it'll be better to explain to you uh, what's going on. So uh, here we go at the moment. Uh, we drop the forks down. I dropped them by 30 mil at the moment. It's, uh, I think it's all right. I, I don't know yet. I need to really take it for a spin and see how it performs with that to drop. Uh, it's not much. I can drop it another uh, uh, 10 or 20 mil, you know, to... Don't want them to stick out too much as well. It's a visually another thing but i think at the moment it will do it gives a good nice aggressive stance it's actually making quite a bit bit of a difference dropping it down by the 30 mil uh the bike kind of dropped on the ground completely and uh, even though in the center stand it kind of both will touch in the ground maybe maybe the rear wheel is uh is about an inch of the ground that's about it so that's that's good but now the next job as i said is this um subframe uh subframe assembly and and uh, well uh, modification not modification creation of the subframe i just need to make it from scratch so um what i'm what we came up with the idea obviously this is the best place to mount it looking at the frame so i'm going to create first of all a cardboard template um with three mil steel because i was i was going to go with uh, with tubes with tube frames uh, but looking at that frame, I mean, there's no tubes anywhere in here, is it? I mean, this is a pressed steel uh, rectangular kind of frame, uh, seem well that. So just put in the tubes over here, the one I bought before, it just pipes, it just, just, just doesn't work. There's no pipes anywhere on the bike, really. Um, so I just think, step away from that, I'm going to try to carry on with that design. On top of that, everybody else does the uh, subframe from uh, just, just tubes, you know, so um, I want to make it a little bit different, just just slightly bit different. And uh, after having a chat with my friend, he actually makes, uh, it makes a lot of sense to do it this way. It's going to be strong as fuck, and I mean really, really box section kind of strong, so uh, no need to worry about uh, dropping my ass right on the uh, right on the rear tire just in case something goes wrong, because we'll make it, we'll make it just right and nothing will go wrong over here. So, like I was saying, um, we need to make a cardboard template, um, so thing can be bolted over here. I need to uh, uh, press a couple of studs, uh, clinch nuts in there, or just one big one, M10, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and then, basically, 3mm steel will go all the way here with the under tray, so protect all the electrics, because battery is going to go in here, as we discussed before. All the electric relays and all the shit is going to go under tray uh, underneath the seat which will be uh, about uh, 30 mil thick so that should uh, hide all that uh, all that wiring mess inside hopefully um frame going here and then from this part we're going to brace it and again i'm going to make uh, as my friend suggested i cannot take a credit for this uh, my friend suggested to make a box section but make it a single one so we're going to brace it like a um from both mounting points and they're gonna single bone se box section gonna narrow down over here as a single brace and then 
flare out again on top so there's no uh, movement no no movement the, the seat is solid um, the reason I'm doing it this way because I want the subframe to be removable just like the original one uh, I don't want to weld anything to the frame really just in case I need to um, take it off or take it apart again or some other things I just want to have it uh, original subframe was bolted on and I want to have this subframe bolted on as well I don't want to weld anything to that really um, that's not uh, just just my personal opinion I think it would be better to have it bolted on and removable just in case you need to service the bike one way or the other uh, I think it's better than cutting that uh, off uh, you can just two or three bolts coming off I think that just makes more sense in my head so yeah we had this uh, I had this tubes as I said planned going for quite some time by the end I decided against it uh, as I was, again followed by a good advice of a, of a, of a friend of mine uh, who knows what he's doing so um, we're gonna go this way. Uh, bought all this steel, um, different sizes. That's two mil, um, cut to size already. I've got a mil and a half for um, um, under tray. Another two mil uh, sheet like this for that box section um, when it's gonna flare out to a single kind of tube in the middle. And uh, the main piece, which is fucking heavy, that's for sure. Um, three millimeter um, sheet metal mild steel so I can weld it quite easily um, for the main bracket uh, the main subframe component two rails and then subframe uh, under tray in the middle a uh, couple of braces over there that will be more more than strong enough for the job especially with brace properly um, it's a nice little project on its own so um looking forward to that as i said i got all the time in the world to do it uh, no deadlines over here no goals so i'm just uh, gonna take my time i'm gonna do it right it may take uh, a few episodes but we get there we yeah so like i like i said before um i've done quite a lot of uh, thinking and and some things off camera just to uh speed up this process because honestly yesterday I was just sitting here, uh, just there on the chair, drinking beer and looking at the bike, uh, thinking how to do it properly, to not mess it up, you know, just uh, propping things up, uh, uh, playing up with the right level of petrol tank, the seat height, uh, just looking, looking at it, you know, sitting, scratching my head, drinking beer. Um, so that's not very interesting. And on top of that, I did just the templates from a uh, paper and then cardboard, multiple ones. Uh, putting it on the bike, coming back here, cutting it again, and again back and forth, back and forth. That's a rather boring process, but it's a part of it, you know, rather do it three or four times in a cardboard with a scissors than cutting the free mill steel piece, you know, um, uh, wrong, and then I have to go and buy another one, plus it's a fucking hard work cutting that motherfucker. Uh, but I think we're there, so I'm, uh, I'm going to join you on a... Um, a quick process how to uh, clean it up and uh, hopefully we can mount at least one of those uh, rails um, sheet metal rails on the side see if we can uh, do a semi decent job of that and see what happens so uh, uh, join me for the ride once again and uh, cheers wish me luck I'm gonna need it today oh yeah so as I said I was busy off camera quite busy for the last uh, few days making templates uh, paper and cardboard templates so we came up with um, the idea of um, bending a three inch steel over here putting a press that nut into the frame bolt it in on here and then frame uh, 30 mil tube not tube sorry uh, flat bar from a sheet steel for sheet metal I'm gonna cut out I'm gonna go all the way across here obviously bend it one way and the other and bend it there and then create a brace and underneath is going to be um, that tray for all the electrics as I said before so that's what we're looking at at the moment um, just the sheet metal bend to the right um, right angle put the press start over there uh, bolt it on and then we can work from that point I can I can just uh, bend it one way or the other uh, create a couple of brackets inside to strengthen it up uh, put some flanges or some triangular pieces just to make sure it's strong uh, but still uh, three mil 
steel is going to be more than strong enough and as i said it's going to be pretty much a box section underneath as well and on top um, everything will be covered with a seat base later on so you won't be able to see that but i will do my best take my time to make it uh, as best as i can so a good job so if you remove the seat you can see a semi-decent engineering uh, anyway that's my goal that's what's uh, that's what's happening Right, so uh, this is where we are after uh, some cutting and some uh, some grinding. I still need to uh, finesse this, uh, dress it down to so make it perfectly um, what I want it to be because I got my lines draws on the other side over here. So I need to just uh, uh, go some lap disc and just make it right because uh, cutting uh, three mil is actually quite a long process, um, and it's and it's messy. Fucking is messy. The the metal shavings are everywhere. So I need to get a good. Uh, clear out after I uh, finish with this but let's uh, let's focus on this one now see if I can uh, get it to the shape I want and then we need to bend it in the right spot weld that bend so it's strong and proper to the bike and fingers crossed uh, I've got a good thing going on here so let's do this This is why you wear eye protection and the respirator. This is metal, and as much as I love metal, <laughs> I don't really want this in my lungs. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're nearly there with this one. This is what I am at the moment. So that fits perfectly in here. That will be bolted on, and then we just need to. Bend it around this line that I drew over here this way so hopefully we're gonna end up with a perfectly leveled frame let me just change hands um, like this obviously it needs to be bent this way and the other way but that's the idea that's the uh, line are we of the uh, of the subframe we are heading at Where are we there we are more or less obviously once it's bolted on the bike will be uh, won't be wobbly anymore or anything but yeah this is the uh, length more or less the height is all correct obviously once this one is working i'm going to cut the other one exactly the same clamp them together and grind and grind and grind the hell out of them so they're exactly exactly the same um once it's on i'm gonna bolt them on and uh and we take it from there no joy more welding more grinding and more cutting uh, beautiful don't you just love custom custom motorcycles <laughs> well i do anyway right guys right, let's do this um this bloody thing chews through a uh, lap discs like uh like the nothing i think i just got like two or three left and uh uh they went 
completely bald, so I needed to sh uh, jump out to a local hardware store and uh, get a couple more just to uh, get it completely um, completely matched up together. But I got it clamped up now, and I'm just trying to match the uh, one to the other, so they're exactly exactly the same. Uh, it's very important. I uh, I get the subframe, which is a part of the frame. Really, I want it to be exactly the same. Obviously couple meter here and there I'm not having that I want them to be exactly the same pieces you know um, yeah back to the grinding stone <laughs> wish me luck again There we go, both pieces, uh, exactly the same, grinded to near enough perfection to what I was uh, going to achieve. Tell you what, these things, uh, they're not cheap, but what a performance. Uh, I, had, I had old ones laying here for quite some time, I went through this one today, uh, doing that, but obviously once it's getting worn off. I was grinding that for half an hour, 40 minutes, and I was getting nowhere. Got a new one, two new ones, uh, and 10 minutes job done beautifully as well. I'm going to just dress it down with a high grid right now to polish it, get rid of all these uh, sharp edges. And then we're going to try to put it onto a bike and see whether, whether we did any good job on it or not. <laughs> yeah, join me then, guys.